You're walking on ice now? Yeah. Okay. Be careful on that ice. I will. Okay, y'all. It is several, several hours later. I don't even know. It's 9.45. I already got ready for bed, but before I go to bed, I want to go ahead and assemble this overnight ham and egg casserole. It's in this really old brunch cookbook magazine look at that it looks yummy that salsa on top of it and we got this garlic salsa at the farmer's market the other day so we're gonna try this with it in the morning I'll go ahead and sit that out too so I don't forget because I could forget it rained all day long today y'all it would stop for like just a little bit and then pour down again I don't know why but sometimes rainy days seem like three days in one it just seemed like this was a very long day I'm spraying my casserole dish. We're just going to use this 8 inch one, 8 by 8. I think it's an 8 by 8. This is really easy to put together. So we're just going to take four cups of these shredded hash browns. The recipe says thawed and these aren't completely thawed. I put them out here before, well while I was cleaning up a little bit and before I went to get ready for bed. So they're still a little bit frozen but I think it'll be fine. Jake's got some of his favorite cookies over there. He's waiting on the oven to get ready for them. So we've got the hash browns, shredded cheese. You can do different cheeses. I didn't have any, I have Monterey Jack sticks, but you know, like the snacking cheese, uh, but it needs to be shredded and those are kind of hard to shred. So I just did all mild cheddar or sharp cheddar. I can't remember which one. I didn't, it was wrapped in full. So anyway, some kind of cheese. <laughs> then we need half a dozen eggs and breakfast ham. You need the fully, well, it doesn't have to be breakfast ham, but fully cooked ham, any kind of fully cooked ham. First, we're gonna put down the hash browns. Now this says an eight inch square baking dish, but there's a lot of stuff that's going in here. Oh yeah, and Rotel, and evaporated milk, and pepper. I forgot to get the pepper. So yeah, it said eight inch, we'll see. We will see. I started to get my bigger one out that it's a little bit bigger than this one that says baked with love, but it says eight inch, so we're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with who made this recipe up. Jennifer from Colorado. Jake's putting his cookies in. He recommends those to y'all, the pecan turtle delight. <laughs> it's his favorite kind. And we're watching the Andy Griffith Show. Also his favorite show. <laughs> two cups of hash browns. I mean, not two cups, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm getting sleepy, four cups. Four cups, this is a two cup measuring cup, so. I'll just see what I'm saying? It's gonna be really full, but we're gonna go with what Jennifer's saying here. Now we're gonna put the ham. We need one cup of chopped cooked ham. 
Oh, look at that egg mist turkey laid yesterday. Yeah, I think it was yesterday. It hardly has any speckles on it at all. Usually hers are very speckled like that. She almost laid a pure white one. This is one of my favorite episodes. It's Aunt B's. Uh, it's the Chinese restaurant one. Now we put the ham on top of the hash browns. Now we only need half of this can of Rotel, so I'm gonna get a little container to put the other half in. Can you imagine opening up a restaurant for $400? What? I'm just gonna pour half this can on here. I'm telling y'all, this is gonna be full. This is gonna be full. Now we'll put this in the refrigerator for another time. Okay, now we put the cheese. It says the cheese now? Yeah. Okay. We didn't need this much cheese either. I just went ahead and shredded that whole box, so I'll get something to put this into. We'll already have cheese shredded the next time we need it. Okay, now we'll grab a bowl to make the egg mixture real quick. So we need six eggs. Uh-oh, this egg is frozen. What? Must have been back a little too far in the fridge. All right, so we're gonna whisk the eggs, then we're gonna put in this can of evaporated milk. Is it 12 ounces? Yeah, the whole can of evaporated milk and a little bit of pepper. Pour this all over the top. Hope it doesn't overflow. I'm gonna have to do this slowly, let it sink down in. All right, that was close, y'all, but we got this. It's fine, it's, everything's fine. So now we're just gonna cover it with foil. It's going in the refrigerator overnight, and in the morning, we'll take it out of the refrigerator while the oven preheats and then it bakes uncovered for 50 minutes. Just kidding, I'm out of full, so we're gonna wrap it in plastic wrap. <laughs> plastic wrap's fine for just going in the refrigerator because it bakes uncovered anyway. Okay y'all, the hash brown and ham thing, really good. If these folks around here like it, it's a good one because breakfast casseroles are not their favorite thing. I mean, they like them okay, but it's definitely not something they would request for breakfast. Most of the time they're, you know, pancakes, gravy biscuits. <laughs> See what I mean? For real though, breakfast casseroles, they're just not their favorite thing. I mean, there are a couple that they are okay with. Like, they don't complain about it, but as Manly just told us, they would rather have pancakes or gravy biscuits or even just eggs and grits and different things like that. But this one was a really good one. Titus, I think, told me three times that he really liked this one. And he didn't try the salsa on it, but I really liked it with the salsa. It almost seems like a breakfast burrito then, but without the tortilla shell because there's no 
no bread in there. But with the Rotel and all, it really makes it seem like a breakfast burrito casserole. Maybe that's why they liked it, because they love breakfast burritos. That's another one of their favorites. I think we should call this breakfast burrito casserole, and you could change the meat. You could do bacon or sausage instead of ham, and then it would really be like a breakfast burrito, except minus the tortilla shell. You could put it on a tortilla shell. Anyway, I really liked this garlic salsa too. I didn't think I was gonna like it. Titus picked it out, but I did like it. All right, so I'm gonna get everything cleaned up, and we're gonna get this day going. It's looking really rainy. I'm hoping that the sun comes out later because it is Friday. Have a fun movie night planned for tonight. I'm gonna make, I'm trying to decide if I wanna make some strawberry sauce and chocolate sauce. It is Friday. <laughs> Or if I just wanna buy some, we're gonna be making some homemade funnel cakes and other different carnival type foods. But yeah, I'm trying to decide if I wanna make the strawberry and chocolate sauce or just buy some. I had another little episode with a headache this morning. I'm kind of foggy brained. That's why I look a little sleepy. I'm not really sleepy. I'm just in a bubble. I'm in a foggy bubble right now, but it's gonna be fine. I'll be feeling better by lunchtime and we're gonna have a fun movie night. And I think I see the sun. Yes, I see a little sunshine. It's gonna be a good day.